The main responsibility of the latent prints unit is to process evidence for the presence of latent prints, then compare them to known fingerprints and palm prints. One of our main tools to develop latent prints is the cyanoacrylate fuming chamber, also known as a superglue chamber. A small tray of superglue is heated until it becomes a vapor. Humidity is added to the chamber, causing the vapor to adhere to any latent print residue an individual may have left behind. A liquid dye stain is then applied to the items. The stain adheres to the cyanoacrylate residue, making any latent prints easier to view under a laser. The dye stain on these items is activated when put under the laser. Wearing color filtered goggles, an examiner can visualize any possible latent prints that may not be visible to the naked eye. When we have latent prints to examine and compare to known prints, we have access to two searchable databases. One is a federal database that searches criminal, civil, and military print records. The other is a state database that searches criminal and civil print records. Both databases assist us in identifying latent prints by returning a list of possible matches based on the unique characteristics of each print. An examiner reviews this list to check for any potential matches. If an identification appears likely, the examiner then completes a manual comparison of the latent print to the known print from the database. While there are many tools to assist the latent prints unit in identifying print matches, this final manual comparison is always completed by an expertly trained latent print examiner.